Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up and how to use launch control on your BMW. Now, most cars come with this equipped, but if you don't have it, all you'll need to do is update your software, which can be seen on my videos to get the launch control feature activated if you have the 2TB in your vehicle order in your VO. So if your car was specced with sports transmission, you will have the launch control. And if you don't have it, you can just upgrade the software to actually unlock it. So I'm gonna be showing you how to set that up today on your BMW. What? God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes cause his memories. We run into New York, so you So if you'll see here guys, we're in park. What you're gonna want to do to enable launch control. The first thing is make sure your steering wheel is completely straight. And then you're gonna want to move this up to Sport Plus, which deactivates the DSC. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is move this into drive, move it over to Sport. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is put your handbrake down, of course. You're gonna to wanna to push your foot all the way down on the brake, as you'll see there, push my foot all the way down. And you wanna press the accelerator all the way down till it clicks, and, and I mean all the way down, past the threshold. So you wanna hold your brakes all the way down so the wheels don't spin, hold onto your steering wheel, and then just press the pedal down and you'll see launch control active come up on your dash. So you'll see it again right there, and that's the launch control active. Now, the best thing to do is to keep it in sport and do not try and use the manual gears for launch control. My best advice is to just leave it the way it is because otherwise it will be hard to shift and you can end up overheating the gearbox a lot quicker from launching. Now, when it launches, you do want to hold on and brace because it will catapult you flying when you use the launch control. You need to hold the brakes completely down, otherwise you will end up with tires spinning. So that is how you set up launch control on your BMW. As I said, sport button all the way to sport plus, gear shifter over to the sport setting. So you'll see it on the dash, it says S1 sport, hold the brake pedal all the way down as far as you can go and kick the accelerator down past the threshold. And that is how you will use launch control. Okay guys, so there you go. I've now shown you how to activate launch control on your BMW. Now, most BMW F Series, if you've got the M135i, M235i from 2013, if your combi shows the M235i symbol or it shows the M135i symbol in your dash, you will have launch control because you'll have the electronic wastegate. But if you're showing M performance, it means you're not on the latest firmware. And usually before 2013, all cars didn't come with launch control. It was only added in the later software version, which you'll have to update to get what I've got on my 2012 M135i. Many people ain't aware of this because BMW don't update the car unless there's an issue for it. But if you do want your car updated to have launch control, it is something I can actually do for you remotely to update it so you can have launch control. Because I know there's a lot of cars running on the older version where you can't, if you've got the extended cluster also, you won't have the M logo on the right side of the dash like I do. You'll have just the M performance when you open the car and that's about it. So I hope this video is gonna help you how to set up launch control. Thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.